focus. Ideate. Innovate. Enable. This week on Skill Free Workplace Excellence, we shed light on various facets of one of India's largest fast moving consumer goods company, Hindustan Unilever. Headquartered in Mumbai, Hindustan Unilever boasts of a heritage spanning over 80 years. With over 35 brands spanning across 20 distinct categories such as soaps, detergents, shampoos, skincare, toothpaste, deodorants, cosmetics, tea, coffee, packaged foods, ice cream and water purifiers, the company is a part of the everyday life of millions of consumers across India. Hindustan Unilever is a subsidiary of Unilever, one of the world's leading suppliers of fast-moving consumer goods with strong roots in more than 100 countries across the globe. We always believe that HUL is a purpose-driven and a values-led organization. When we look at values, for instance, we are talking about one is the permission to place value which are enshrined in a code of business principle. Then we also have aspirational values. Yeah. But there are certain timeless values which uh, Unilever, which HUL uh, ascribe to and this I would say are the integrity, respect for an individual, the responsibility that we take up when we come into the business and of course the pioneering spirit. With a strong employee base of over 16,000 spanning across various brands, Hindustan Unilever has gained a reputation as one of India's most admired employers by providing an environment where individuals can achieve their goals both professionally and personally. HUL is building a winning culture in which every employee is encouraged to grow to their full potential. They have developed a performance-based reward structure that recognizes people who have delivered results and have the right values for their business. I think the important thing in terms of work culture in HUL that is that you, you, it's good to know is the fact that we want people to be themselves. We want them to be authentic. We want them to work and perform at their very best. So the whole idea is can we get them to rise to the best of their potential. So the entire workspace, as you can see, both in terms of infrastructure and in terms of policies, are designed around letting people perform at their best levels. Yeah? Now, if you look at the office, you see there are a lot of open areas around. There are a lot of places where people can meet. There's a Brew Cafe, there's an Adda, there are balconies where you have meeting areas. Yeah? So the idea is people work in their time, in their space. Yeah? And it allows you the space to be agile. You can work out of home, so your policies are allowed to work out of home. You can work in a different city if actually your family requires you to be based in a different city. The idea is really perform in your space, in your time, and provide infrastructure and support that allows you to be the best that you can be. We want people to be able to see each other, connect with each other, talk to each other, meet with each other, connect with consumers. So you have seen some interesting consumer uh, interaction points. <laughs> HUL offers its employees several ways to take advantage of development opportunities in the organization. Be it making more room to succeed and grow, or attractive reward and benefit packages, or numerous directions to pursue a winning career. Their strong efforts and belief in making a social change is a driving factor in the everyday functioning of the company. We have something called Sunset, for example, which is a, it's a tool, it's a framework, it's a policy that allows people to escalate issues and get solved by the end of the week. Yeah? And Sunset actually, because the Sunset of that Friday, the issue has to be solved. And we have another product called Sunset Talks, which actually allows people to surface problems and then people across the company can like and say, you know, I agree that's a pain process. Yeah? And so it not only shows us where the pain issues are for people, but it also shows us how widespread this feeling is. And we can then take action to make sure that those are resolved immediately. And these things, I am the only one who keeps the space to say no. So the assumption is that if somebody is raising an issue, then there's got to be very good reason why we shouldn't implement the suggestion that they're coming up with. Both me and my wife work and, uh, you know, I really think it wouldn't have been possible without the kind of uh, policies that we have. For example, uh, the flexi time policy, I could come in at any time during the day as long as my manager knows about it, uh, that's perfectly fine. And with a kid, that's always helpful because you never know uh, when a kid needs time. Uh, the other thing that I think uh, uh, which I like really uh, about this place is the fact that there's a daycare right in the campus. 
uh, why I think I'm now uh, very happy uh, to keep my kid here is because of the facilities that I have uh, through the daycare. Uh, I'm just a two minute distance away anytime required and, and that's just normal peace of mind. The organization's goal is to deliver Unilever's promise to consumers and the world through a pioneering employment experience. CSR policies have always been employee oriented and I think one of the things that uh, manifests itself is the fact that you've had so many leaders who have come from this business and you know ever since this company for the last 50 60 years this company has been led by uh, an Indian management team yeah and that's because of a very strong set of leadership development policies that puts people again in the center so all line managers are involved in all decisions on people so it's not something that the HR department takes away and does in a corner of the office Every line manager is involved in all decisions to do with people. You always under the impression that it's such a huge organization and initial early on in your careers you know you, you might feel that I might be a minion in the system uh, but really you aren't. If you want to take a punt, if you want to take a really big call, uh, there is nobody, there is nobody who will encourage you to do that. You know they will have your back, they will help you look through it. Uh, I think I have fun at work because not just for the quality of work that I have but for the people I work with. With a people-driven and performance-driven leadership, the company invests in employee development and builds teams that are able to drive a successful approach to their goal. The main aim is to build leaders from within the system. I think we have really progressive policies in terms of uh, you know, making new mothers, dads comfortable because there is a place, there is a secure place where their children are well looked after. The second policy which I think is a great one and it's given us a lot of um, ability to harness excellent talent is the career by choice policy. Um, and you might have heard of this policy but it is uh, an opportunity for people who have stepped off workplace whether it's a man or a woman to come and work with us on short term projects. Um, and I have leveraged great talent in my business from the career by choice policy and have got excellent output. When you come and spend a large amount of your waking life in office, you want to have an environment which fosters creativity, which fosters teamwork, yeah, and which is a place where you feel excited to get to work. Enterprise Support is Unilever's global cross-functional business services organization, catering to more than 1,70,000 employees across 180 countries. The Global Enterprise Solutions and Technology Center in Bengaluru is the largest within Unilever's ETS function, functioning as an essential global team strategic to Unilever and its businesses. Situated in the heart of India's IT hub, the Enterprise Solutions and Technology Center is a testament to the company's sheer scale and reach. It operates as the central nervous system of the entire organization, serving over 2 billion customers. ETSC helps the company serve their consumers and customers better, thus translating global scale into cost competitiveness, enabling Unilever to operate as a globally integrated enterprise. What attracts an employee and what makes him remain with the organization are several factors. Yeah? Is, uh, the ideal is when your extrinsic motivators and your intrinsic motivators come together. And the binding is the culture and the values, the purpose and the values. They bring it all together. Because yes, of course, you have to pay them competitive salary. That's very important. You have to create an environment where they can flourish. You have to create an environment where you develop your skills and capabilities. Yeah? And also you have to create an entrepreneurial environment in the context so that they can give a complete, they, they have an opportunity to really bring all the skills and capabilities to the fore because we recruit the best possible talent in the country. The Unilever Group has a bold ambition. They want to double the size of their business while reducing environmental impact and increasing their positive social impact. I think the work culture in Hindustan Unilever and in Unilever globally is really one which is very collaborative, is very informal 
At the same time, it is very much performance driven. So we want to make sure that we are able to get the best out of talent in, so that we are able to serve our customers and consumers better and we are also very externally focused. A majority of the population of the centre is young, less than 30 years old and uh, they bring a lot of vibrancy and energy into the centre. Any activity that we do, we see huge levels of participation and energy. We are a performance oriented company and therefore there is this sense of performance and competitiveness and delivery that pervades the culture of the center. HUL's enterprise and technology solutions team is enabling responsible growth through initiatives that provide the technology that Unilever needs to innovate new products which meet consumer needs in a more environment friendly way. Young talent today uh, want an exciting place to work where they, they can make a real difference. They want to work with good talent. So somewhere, you know, it becomes a self-fulfilling. You get good people, they attract more good people. Uh, they want a very empowered uh, style of working. They also want to be able to work with the best in terms of technology and opportunities. I think in Unilever, we are able to offer a combination of all of this. And I think that's what really attracts young, good talent into Unilever. The responsibility that young people get at, at a very, very early stage in their careers. Yeah. Um, so you will have young graduates uh, or, or management graduates from B-schools across the country join us as management trainees in information technology here in the center and they lead big global projects, multi-million dollar projects. The office space was built with an aim to spark creativity and drive intellect. The company endeavors to ensure well-being of all their employees. It has given paramount importance and considerable efforts have been put in to achieve the same. The workspace is tailor-made for each kind of role, be it brainstorming with colleagues or having quiet overseas calls and meetings, video presence for fruitful discussions or plaza areas for coffee meetings and catching up with colleagues. The space caters to the diverse needs of its employees. The company premises also have a daycare center that proves beneficial to working parents. Out of this place we serve all the countries, uh, we drive a lot of innovation and we do a lot of uh, operations out of this place. So clearly this gives people a, a wide opportunity uh, both in terms of collaborating within team members here but also with team members in other parts of the world. It is a, a true technology leadership center where we have a lot of the global technology leadership based out of the center. So that gives people a great opportunity. In terms of driving engagement, again it's about giving people a, a rich work environment where they're working on really meaty projects which makes a real difference. Our philosophy of learning is, is, is called the 70-20-10 philosophy. 70% 70 of learning happens on the job. And it's very important for people to move jobs every two to three years, closer to three than to two. And as you move up the levels, they spend more time in the same job. And this job movement or job rotation needs to be diverse. We have a global recognition system called You Make a Difference. It's IT enab enabled and we encourage people to recognize. Recognize as frequently as possible. And, and be as honest as possible. And it's not just about boss to subordinate recognition, it's also about peer to peer recognition. Recognition makes a huge difference to an individual. Yeah. We also have a very, very structured process of recognizing team accomplishments. Uh, we have something called the Compass Awards, which are given uh, to teams that excel and, and deliver great business results. Teams with employee volunteers have been deployed who focus on diverse aspects of well-being. The volunteers come up with innovative ideas which are reflected in their recreational facilities and interesting employee engagement schemes. A key aspect of, of leadership is, is really authenticity. People need to be authentic and that's at the core of leadership. In addition to that, they need, we need to lead with a purpose and, and Unilever gives us a very, very strong purpose. We have, a, we have the Unilever Sustainable Living Plan, which is really about doubling our revenues while having the environmental impact. People are very, very connected to the uh, mission of Unilever. They really believe that we can make a real difference uh, to our customers and consumers. And I think that's what eggs people on to deliver their best. At Hindustan Unilever's ETS Center, employees are encouraged to seize the opportunity and given freedom to chart their own growth path. 
the organization ensures that people are empowered and provided with an environment that brings out the best in them, creating a win-win situation for both parties involved. Haridwar, known as the gateway to gods, presents a kaleidoscopic view of Indian culture and civilization to the world. It is also home to Hindustan Unilever's home and personal care site. The Zero Discharge site is one of the largest sites for the sector in the South Asian region. The site is spread over 52 acres and houses 8 factories, producing about 1,70,000 tons of finished goods annually. The factory provides employment to 1,700 employees and is a perfect blend of best-in-class technology and efficient and effective human resources. It's a very, very open work culture. People can come back with their suggestions, their concerns. We, if you go to every site, you'll be able to see whatever they have, the feedback. They can write a feedback about the facilities, about what bothers them. Every quarter, we recognize best performing teams. We recognize best performing individual, best performing suggestion on quality, productivity, safety. So they have drive for continuously bringing uh, new ideas, new thought. They find lot ownership in their work area. Unilever's sustainable living plan is at the core of everything that they do at the Unilever factories. The plan revolves around three pillars that include improving health and well-being, reducing environmental impact and enhancing livelihood. If we talk about the young managers, okay, someone like me for example, uh, 3.5 years into the company and I'm already heading a factory which is uh, with people of uh, close to 400 and uh, a turnover of close to 2500 crores. So that itself shows the kind of uh, responsibilities and the trust that the organization puts on the young managers and the kind of uh, responsibilities that the company gives you very early in your career. Unilever has been leading the industry in devising and implementing best safety practices across its sites. The first tenet of well-being in a factory is safety. Each and every employee is trained on behavioral safety. HUL's Haridwar site has won multiple accolades for their high safety standards. When we talk about safety, this is one of the factory wherein we have you know, uh, really state-of-art uh, uh, infrastructure and facility and people participate in initiatives for how do you bring machine safety guard alive? Every aspect is taken care from that aspect. Zero injuries and uh, zero accidents is always at the base of, at the start of everything we do in the actual. And I think that's it's more of a culture, it's more of a habit. The group has structured a training program for its technical operators at every step of the way, ensuring that their career grows and aiming to build leaders from within the system. The executives at Unilever factories also undergo various training programs that focus on enhancing their soft skills. One of the unique thing what you will see is we will certify some of the blue collar employees who have really picked that subject and they become train the trainer. They train the uh, other blue collar employees. So what we do is for all our 1500 employees we annually do a skill assessment. Okay, based on the skill assessment, we identify what are the training needs and based on that, throughout the year, they are imparted with the training. HUL was the first company in the FMCG industry to have a structured recruitment and onboarding program for women employees on the shop floor. The nail factory at the Haridwar site is an all-women plant and symbolizes women empowerment in the true sense. We have a very strong diversity uh, policy, diversity and inclusion policy and uh, which is I think probably one of the um, leaders in industry and uh, across industries. Yeah. Uh, we like to be the first mover on some of these things. This is a single sourcing uh, woman uh, site which is producing 250 uh, shades complexity of LACME and L18. HVL is a very good uh, place to have a new eye to each and every thing and to give your own innovative ideas. The group undertakes multiple employee welfare and engagement initiatives. The organization facilitated the Haridwar site employees to construct their own housing colony of over 300 families. HUL organizes talent hunt programs like the Hamara Idol, a singing talent hunt competition in its Haridwar factory. 
Apart from that, each year on 26 January, Family Day is celebrated in the Haridwar site. When we look at employee engagement, uh, I always see it as two parts. Uh, one is uh, how we are able to uh, engage them in their professional work as well as well as off the work also. When we talk about on the work, uh, uh, we are piloting in Haridwar Factory of HUL a uh, lot of programs like world class manufacturing, industrial performance and HR for factories where the basic intention or the aim is to improve or upskill the workers who are or upskill the employees who are at uh, the basic operator level to a machine operators and to a technical operator which will not just cause a difference or create a difference in their professional lives but also ultimately in their personal lives. Uh, we have uh, several singing competitions inside, we have interplant competitions, uh, we have sports activity on the campus uh, where people can involve themselves and uh, keep their personal as well as professional lives light.